Hi everyone, it's Donna from Donna's Corn Free Cooking and today I wanted to share with you a little more information about the problems that we who are allergic to corn have when we're shopping. Now I have two examples here and it just goes to show in my research the medical field is finally waking up to the fact that there are more and more people becoming allergic to corn. Unfortunately, from what I have found in my research, food industry hasn't. They, are, they have eight major food allergens that they worry about. Corn is not one of them. To give you an example, I was shopping and found I can use the Nestle's chips. Now I ha do not have a problem with um, the soy that they use in it or the milk fat because I'm not allergic to either one of those. Those are two of the major allergens, milk and soy. Now on top of that I found this called Simply Delicious and it is only three ingredients which is the organic cane sugar organic chocolate and organic cocoa butter. That's it. Now this one has six ingredients which happen to be the sugar, chocolate, milk, fat, cocoa butter, soy, and natural flavors. Now of course for me I would naturally go to this one just in case there might be a corn, allerg corn in the sugar maybe or in the um, milk fat. You just never know. Or in the natural flavors even. So this is good when you've got a corn allergy. But the fact is it's not telling you that it's for people allergic to corn. It's saying that it's for people with eight major food allergens. Peanuts, tree nuts, egg, milk, wheat, soy, fish, and shellfish. Now they should have corn right up there with it. It should be one of the it should be one of the nine major allergens, but it's not. And the same with cream cheese. Cream cheese, if you get the cheaper brand, which is economical for people, the ingredients in it is pasteurized milk and cream, cheese culture, salt, gar gum, which is good, carob bean gum, which is good but they also add xanthan gum. Now there is no reason for the xanthan gum in this because if you look at this one, the ingredients is pasteurized milk and cream, salt, carob bean, gum, and cheese culture. So all the same exact ingredients except for the cheese culture in this one and the xanthan gum in this one. So it may cost a little bit more, but when you're allergic to corn, this is the better value in reality. So just some more little tips I'm trying to give everyone. You have to read packages. You have to have a list with corn derivatives and even research those derivatives to see what they're made from. Because if you don't, you can possibly ingest something that could cause you to go into a major attack or even anaphylactic shock. And that's the one thing when you're allergic to a food, you want to avoid if at all possible. So I will keep coming to you with little more tips as I learn them and research them. And I hope that this will help those of you who don't know what to do how to start taking charge of your health. I am a very big advocate for that because no one else is going to do it for you. You have to be able to do the research to say, hey, I am not going to let them do this to me. If the food industry would just recognize it, yes, there'd be a lot of problems because companies would lose money. So we have to be our own advocate and try to keep continuing to cook corn free. It may take a little more time, but for me, I've been cooking since I was 15 years old for about 52 years. And that's telling my age. 
but I always learned how to cook from scratch and for me it's not, it's not an issue. I can do it and I can whip foods up pretty quickly uh, just like you could if they were already processed. So it's safer and it's better if you can try to go corn free and really watch the products that you buy. Make sure to always, always read your labels. It's so very, very important. So until next time, you guys have a good week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.